What's going on YouTube? Chiosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about important jailbreak topics including 14.7 being released as RC. We're going to talk about what you should do if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible and of course we're going to talk about a very important warning coming from the ODC team. So this video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that manages the photos, music and videos on your device. You can also do phone switching and phone backup with this software in here. Definitely check it out. There is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. So a couple of days ago Apple released the iOS 14.7 RC or release candidate which is basically the final version. This one will be the iOS 14.7 to be released for the general public. Whatever vulnerabilities are in the RC are probably going to make their way into the normal version. So if you're planning to jailbreak, CheckRain will likely support the 14.7 with no problem by default. However Torin and Uncover won't at least not for the moment. But speaking of Torin, now if you go ahead here on the Torin website, there is a warning that says please avoid using 1.0.5 and 1.0.6 for the time being. Yes, they finally have acknowledged there is a problem with those builds. I did make a video like a week ago or so in which I talked about those versions that were buggy and there was a problem with them that caused people to have boot loops and those are the latest versions. So in that video I urged everyone to use 1.0.4 even though this one was basically three versions old. However they have now posted here on reddit jailbreak just a day ago quote please back up your data and switch to Torin 1.0.4 ASAP and they say quote we the Odyssey team are aware of an issue for users on Torin 1.0.5 to 1.0.6 which can cause data loss and forced updates. Please back up your data as soon as possible and switch to 1.0.4. So this is apparently being investigated. It seems to be related to the new feature that basically does a BSOD or blue screen of death on 1.0.5 and 1.0.6 which then causes a user space reboot. And since there is apparently a bug in the stock iOS which can create problems, Torin by rebooting the user space is basically exacerbating that bug. So that's why it's more present on the Torin than the Uncover. But it's pretty sure that the Uncover suffers from this bug as well. It's just not as present there as it is on Torin because the Uncover doesn't do as much user space reboot as Torin does. At least that's the theory. However, it's now official that you should avoid 1.0.5 and 1.0.6. Now for those of you running 14.6, 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4.2, 14.4.1 and 14.4. Your best bet if you want to jailbreak is to stay below 14.6. As I mentioned in some of my videos, there are a couple of important vulnerabilities that were patched in 14.6. So if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible, your best bet would be to stay below 14.6. And of course, that means do not update the 14.7 either. The vulnerability that was released a couple of days ago by EM Beer isn't exactly very, very good. In fact, it is good, but it would require require a lot of work to make it work from the sandbox on iOS and it was already patched in 14.6 so if anybody could use it that would be below 14.6 so 14.5.1 and lower. However the vulnerability itself although a kernel vulnerability and pretty good at it is not really intended for iOS but rather for macOS. The vulnerability itself exists on iOS but the sandbox makes it harder to actually access it and exploit it so while we might be able to use this in the future for jailbreak purposes, it's only a last resort. This is not exactly the perfect vulnerability, but it is there in case we need it. However, if you want to make sure that your jailbreak will come faster, make sure you stay below 14.6. That's the best advice I can give you for now. I know things are a little bit slow in the jailbreak community for now, and that's mostly due to the lack of vulnerabilities being released, but the vulnerabilities will be released. This one by Ian Beer was patched on 14.6 and it's now available. And like that, many of the vulnerabilities here on the 14.6 and there are many, will be released at some point. Because there is no point into keeping them private once 14.7 is out and once 14.6 was out because 14.6 is basically what patches them. And at that point, once we get more vulnerability releases, we will probably have the one that we need for jailbreak purposes. So I would definitely advise you to stay put and do not update the 14.7 or the 14.6 because those are all bad versions if you're waiting for Uncover or for Torin. If you want to check range, 
Checkrain already supports 14.7 with no problem. It supports the RC, it supports the betas, and it will support the final version. So there is no problem in there. If you have a Checkrain compatible device, which is the iPhone 5s through iPhone 10, then you are definitely good. However, if you have an A12 to A14 device, like the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone XS Max, and so on, you will definitely need to wait for Uncover or Taurine. And of course, that means staying below 14.6 would be better. But make sure that you do back up your device regularly because even if you don't use the Torin jailbreak, there is still a bug in the stock iOS which can cause a boot loop and you will have to update your device and lose everything. So definitely do backups regularly on your device but more so if you use the Torin jailbreak and make sure to avoid the latest versions which are 1.0.5 to 1.0.6. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.